This is Kevin Mayo, your American correspondent for Real Ale Craft Beer, and today we're drinking Stone Bruin Smoke Porter with Vanilla Bean. So, Stone Bruin is one of our great breweries over in America. Um, they do lots and lots of great beers. We've all drank them, we've all tried them, we've all reviewed them, we all love them. They're, you know, there's dozens of them. I can't even think of them off the top of my I can think of them off the top of my head, but I could spend an hour talking about all the different beers. Their smoke porter goes back 20 years now, because it says in here, in 2006, almost exactly 10 years after they started doing the smoke porter, that their small brewer, Laura, small batch brewer, Laura Ulrich, decided to add Mad Madagascar vanilla bean to it. So this beer is almost 10 years old at this point. So it's a uh, smoke porter. Did a little research, because in the back of my mind, I have a hard time differentiating what's the difference between a stout in a porter. I was on the internet for, I don't know, half an hour just now and uh, nobody can really give me a great straight definition of it. I know somebody out there knows it and hopefully you'll comment on this and I'll know. I'll learn in the future. But, so stouts and porters, I tend to think of them almost interchangeably. As near as I can tell, porters came first. They were named for the London porters drinking a dark beer and his stouts kind of evolved for him. They were a stronger porter. That's where the stout comes from. But that's neither here nor there. Today we're drinking a smoked porter and we're drinking it from stone. So let's give it a crack and see what we got. Just for shits and giggles, I'm using my Guinness glass that I bought at Disney World about, well, actually probably 25 years ago. We'll go ahead and give it a pour. And we have about two fingers of, I would call it brown head. Nice tight bubbles on it. Not perfectly pitch black. So again, that might be a small difference between a stout and a porter. Most of the stouts I have tried have been perfectly pitch black. If you hold this up directly to the light, you can see the light through it. And it's like a dark ruby red. Uh, even I'm holding it up to the camera here, I can see through it a little bit. But if you hold it away from the direct light, it's a dark, 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 rich brown. So, aroma time. So, it's got that real smoky roasted malt. A hint of chocolate. and maybe and just the slightest trace of the vanilla coming up through it. But really that dark roasted malt with the smokiness in some of the chocolate, like a dark chocolate is what I'm getting most off the aroma. Let's do a taste. First up, I get vanilla right up front. Now I got pretty much nil or no vanilla in the aroma. First taste, I'm getting vanilla. And then I'm getting dark, rich milk chocolate. It's got a fairly sharp, astringent mouthfeel to it. It finishes fairly bitter, more bitter than a tr I would expect from a porter. I have no idea if we know what the IBUs on this are. And they do make a big, uh, it's 5.9% ABV. And they make a big deal about their, you know, buy their beers fresh, they put the date right on the bottle. But the, by the time the bottle gets to the store, the, you know, the little thing printed up here, just, you can't even read it, it gets all smudged. So, Stone, if you want to really talk about that, up your game on where you print the date. Print it on the bottle a little bit better where you can actually read it. Uh, it does say brewed in 2014 and drink in 2014. Day after Christmas, so it's still 2014. Uh, back end, we get that smokiness. Get a... I want to say a hint of black coffee, 
not a lot. I mean, not prevalent in the least. I had this once before, like two, three years ago, from uh, from my channel, and I don't know if it's different year to year, but it's definitely a little bit more subdued than when I had it, and more on the vanilla milk chocolate side and less on the black bitter side, black coffee side. So, solid beer. Again, we get vanilla. Milk chocolate, uh, smoky malt. It finishes bitter, it finishes dry. It's a little astringent, and at the very back end, you might get a hint of black coffee. Solid beer. Uh, I don't think it's world class, but I think it's a really drinkable beer. 5.9 percent. Could say it's sessionable even. We're going to give it a solid 86 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.